Hello, dear students. Welcome back to the math panel online. In this particular paper, we are looking at uh, June 2018, uh, paper two, pure math mechanics and the pure math statistics. We implore your indulgence to watch this paper to the end and to share this video on all the WhatsApp groups and social media platforms in which you find yourself. So that is going to be a way for you to motivate us to make more videos. And for you to have this complete video, please click on the link at the bottom of this video to watch the complete video from our website. So the first question here reads, P of X is equal to AX cubed minus three X squared minus BX plus six. And when P of X is divided by X minus one, the remainder is minus six. Given that X plus two is a factor of P of X, find the values of the constants A and B, hence solve the equation P of X equals zero. So in this particular question, guys, we are targeting a polynomial function. And with this polynomial function, we are being told that x minus one is not a factor because it leaves a remainder of minus six, while x plus two is a factor because its uh, remainder is going to be zero. From these two ideas, we can use the remainder and the factor theorem respectively to find the values of the constants a and b. And hence, we can solve the equation given by Hence, we can solve the equation given by uh, P of X equals zero. So first of all, X minus one equals zero implies X is equal to one. And it leaves a remainder of minus uh, negative six, which means F of one should be equal to negative six. So substituting one into this polynomial function will give us A into one cube minus three into one squared uh, minus B into one plus six that should be equal to negative six. And simplifying this will give us a minus three minus b plus six equals minus six. And we can form a, an equation from this, which is a minus b to be equal to um, minus nine. Let's call this equation one. Secondly, since x plus two is a factor, what does this imply? That um, x uh, plus two equals zero gives us x to be equal to negative two. And f of negative two should give us zero or p of negative two. So f of negative two is equal to zero implies. So here we are going to have, all right, I've skipped the steps right down. So a into negative two cubed minus three into negative two squared minus b into negative two plus six equals zero. So this gives us minus eight a minus 12 plus 2b plus 6 equals 0. And we can form a second equation, minus 4a plus b equals 3. Call this now equation 2. From these two equations, if we add equation 1 to equation 2, we will obtain uh, negative 3a is equals negative 6, implying a equals 2. And if we substitute this value of a in equation 1 or any of the equations, we'll have a b to be equal to 11. So guys, these are the values of B and A respectively. Now we have been told that we should solve the equation P of X equals zero. So you may use other methods like to find the root of an equation with, of a polynomial with degree, three, with degree three, or I prefer you use long division because it's what you are familiar with in class. So since you know that X plus two is a factor, you can first of all express this as a product of linear factors and the advantage of this is that, so one advantage of this method is that if they ask you to express P of X as a product of these three linear factors, long division does the job. However, if they don't ask, you can still use long division to factorize completely and solve the equation P of X equals zero. So this will give us P of X, and the values of A and B have been replaced, uh, divided by X plus two, so we have two X cubed divided by X here is going to give us two X squared and two X squared times X uh, will give us two X cubed, two X squared times plus two is plus four X squared. Subtracting will give us uh, minus three X squared minus four X squared, which is minus seven X squared. We bring down these other terms you have not used, or we can say 11 X minus zero plus six minus zero. So this is what's going to give us. Now this degree is still greater than uh, the degree of the divisor. So we have minus seven X squared divided by X that will give us minus seven X, minus seven X times X minus seven X squared, minus seven X times two is minus 14 X. When we subtract at this point here, we will have 
minus 11x minus minus 14x, that's going to give us plus 3x, and you bring down this 6 plus 6. This degree is now equal to the degree of the divisor, so you can still divide. We only stop dividing when the degree here is less than that of the divisor. So we have 3x divided by x, which gives us 3. Now 3 times x is 3x, and 3 times 2 is plus 6. So when we subtract, we have no remainder which ties with what was said in the equation that x plus two is a factor. So from here, we cannot express p of x as, p of x equals um, divisor times quotient. So we have um, x plus two times two x squared minus seven x plus three. Now in this first bracket, we have a quadratic, which you can factorize it further to have two x minus one into x minus three. And here, P of X has been expressed as a product of three linear factors. So solving the equation P of X equals zero implies either the first factor equals zero or the second equals zero or the third equals zero. And that will give us X equals a half or X equals three or X equals negative two. Guys, please don't forget to subscribe to this our channel. Most of our videos are not on YouTube. So to have the best of our videos, go to www.gcmathpanel.blogspot.com where you have corrections to pass GCE questions. You can see the website link below here. And below this video, you can equally get the link to the website. If you click somewhere around this video, you have that same link to take to the website where you have the remaining parts of the questions of this June 2018 paper two, pure math mechanics, pure math statistics, Cameroon GCE. May God bless you as you prep your exam and please, share these uh, videos to your friends. If you love the work we are doing, all we ask for you, of you is to share this video to different WhatsApp and Facebook groups and to subscribe to this channel. May God bless you and bye-bye.